Uh, can you talk to me about just uh, just that real world aspect of, of that kind of like female yeah. empowerment in, yeah. in the bathroom like that? That scene is so important to me. Like, and I, I had I had to really go to bat for that scene because really? a lot of people didn't understand why it was so important. Because if you look at it from the surface level, you're like, it's kind of an extraneous scene. It doesn't really serve a plot purpose. You know, you could really get through the story and cu you could cut it and, you know, you would still understand what was happening in the story. But I was like, this is the single most important scene in that entire episode to wow. me because it really shows like the magic and the protective like warmth of the women's bathroom. It is a beautiful and safe environment. I mean, outside at the bar, maybe these women would have fought each other. Sure. But for some reason, when you get past the magic barrier of the women's bathroom door, it is the most protective and loving and supportive environment. A girl that you meet in the bathroom of a club will go and like help you bury your dude if you need her to. Now, is that comment she made in isolation a problem for me? Absolutely not. Are jokes offensive to me, generally speaking? Absolutely not. Do I think people should be canceled over jokes? Absolutely not. But that's not the standard in which we are held by today in 2022 standards. And depending on who you are, depending on who you voted for, depending on what your opinions are, you can be completely canceled over a harmless joke. So why, in a world where everybody pretends to be offended over everything, does this person get away with saying things like that? Because of the agenda, because the rules are not the same for everyone else, because there is no consistency, there is no transparency whatsoever. We live in a world where if you say the message that needs to be said, if you follow the narrative that needs to be followed, you can essentially get away with whatever you want to get away with. And that's the entire point, to call out the hypocrisy of the situation. So for this person who writes this terrible show called She-Hulk, when she she says that the woman's bathroom is a sacred place where you can find someone that will help you bury a man. By 2022 standards, that should not be allowed. Now, in a perfect world, all jokes would be allowed. All opinions would be allowed. And we can say and do whatever we think. And then people, generally speaking, whether that's the community or the platform or whatever, they can police the community. They can tell you if they want you to say that you can get ratioed you can get criticized the community can police the community that's how it should be that's how youtube has been so successful for so long because youtube has policed itself generally speaking and that is how it should go through having their voices having dislike buttons having comment sections but of course that is slowly starting to be taken away and now people are not held individually responsible for their own actions by the greater majority of the people. Now the powers that be are determining who can say what and who can say this and who can't say that based on the narrative in place. We also have more nonsense from Jessica Gao, who says Kevin Feige is a creative genius. How many people talk about their boss like this? Who, who does that? A, a good boss is probably someone that you're scared of, that you're intimidated by, that you're constantly hoping is not mad at you, that you kind of are nervous every time that they have to have a conversation with you. No, 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 not in this situation because this is the M she you, ladies and gentlemen, and Kevin Feige, someone that has created something incredible with the Marvel Cinematic Universe that cannot be denied. But like everything in Hollywood, once it becomes so successful, suddenly, suddenly, Identity politics start to enter the equation, and that is exactly what's going on right here. That's why the Marvel Cinematic Universe is in the place it's in, because Kevin Feige is terrified of the activist that they are hiring at Marvel. He's terrified, scared to death. You never hire activists. You never give them any opportunities whatsoever. You never give them any credibility, because once you do, they will take you down. And Kevin Feige is essentially just scared to death of this woman. So she says stuff like, he constantly puts up with me arguing with him. He really lets me bully in a way. It truly is a testament to what an egoless, wonderful person he is. Bosses are not supposed to be called egoless and wonderful people. They're supposed to be intimidating. They're supposed to have a standard. And you are supposed to want to reach that standard. Holy shit. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is a joke at this point. 
Again, like everything in Hollywood, once something becomes so successful, they'll eventually push their nonsense into it because you can't build it from the ground up. They can't build identity politics driven stories or characters from the ground up. They have to build it the right way because they can't build it from the ground up because no one will support it. So now they have that built in infrastructure. That's when they can push it into it every single time. Ridiculous. We'll keep following this and a lot more, whether it's Rings of Power, House of the Dragon, this. You got Cobra Kai coming up, and I can't wait for that. So excited. We got video games coming out. Modern Warfare 2 is going to be here. Splatoon 3, we'll be covering that on the uh, Geeks and Gamers Play channel. Um, we also got some really big gaming streams we're going to be doing with Rumble. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for that. I'll give you guys more details on that. Make sure you go follow us on Rumble and Locals. Support us on Locals, please. Go over there, give us a follow, consider supporting us. You'll have exclusive access to a lot of our streams and interactions that we're doing over there. Rumble and Locals are kicking ass, and I am very excited about it. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.